let's talk very briefly on the flow number. What's the flow number? It's essentially just a dimensionless number. What does that mean? Is that all dimensions, time, length, and essentially just those, time and length, are going to cancel each other, come from a mathematical model, which we are not going to see how it's derived, but it talks about the blade velocity, tangential velocity, and volumetric flow rate. And here goes the formula. You got the flow number is equivalent to that of the volumetric flow rate divided by the rotational speed and the impeller diameter to the third power. Common flow number values, well, depends of course on the impeller size or type, but for example, you got this value right here, this value right here for a 4 blade 45 turbine, for a disc 1.3, for a high efficiency, you will have a very low flow number. And we're going to use this flow number later to calculate the power number, which at the, time, at the same time is going to give us the power requirement. So just to get you along with. You need more data, more problems on how to calculate the flow number, such as connecting these right here versus this right here. Go and check out the solved problems I just prepared for you, and even the quizzes, some theoretical concepts. And in the next one, we're going to relate the power. Now, this was a free preview. You want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access. Not only that, you get a very straightforward, uh, user friendly interface. So, for instance, you were analyzing or studying pumps, you have it here the pump block, then you have the sections. If you were for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here and you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.